Today we will cover another very disappointing asset with a huge market cap, Cardano, with its leader, Charles. Sorry to disappoint many followers of Cardano, but all coins, any coins at this stage of the bull run that are not below 50% from all-time highs, yes, they will follow Bitcoin, but they will disappoint and most of them won't even get back to the all-time highs. So that's a high possibility. And unfortunately, Cardano is in that mix. So we'll cover today the daily chart and the weekly chart, and you will see what the coin has done this year and a little further than that, just to see technically what it looks like, what to expect, and my overall conclusion about Cardano, a coin that has quite a big following. A lot of people follow this asset in the crypto world. It's not a young asset, but has disappointed, like I said. So we had a huge run up since October 2023 up to March 2024 from 25 cents up to 80 cents. But since then, since March, we have been going down. Quite a bit, a big correction from 40 to 35 cents. We seem to have bottom here and now we're trading around 45 cents at this stage. The AMA 50 is going down, not very good, but that can happen. But the biggest concern that I have is that the AMA 200 here was going down. With this huge run up, we changed the course of the AMA 200 and it started to go up. But with the recent correction this year, we went from up to the ME200 to flat and now to going down. So this means what? This means the short term tendency of the coin is down. The long term tendency of the coin is down. And we are in the middle of a bull run. That's not normal. It should be going up already, both of them. And many crypto assets have the ME50 and the ME200 on the daily chart going up, starting with Bitcoin. So you have to keep that in mind. The sentiment chart-wise for Cardano is down. And in order to change the status of the ME200, it's going to take a huge move up from Cardano. And we have not seen anything big almost since the beginning of the year. So suddenly something will change in Cardano that will trigger this type of buying pressure. The charts tell me the answer of that is no, at this stage at least. So I'm talking about the chart and the chart summarizes what? What are the buyers doing? What are the sellers doing? And in this case, sellers were dominating since March. We seems to be on a flat, type of tendency right now so equal amount of selling and equal amount of buying and that gives you no progress flat in price action therefore no performance for Cardano on the daily chart so this does not look good now that Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking out in my opinion so yes Cardano will go up because Bitcoin, when it goes up, it pulls everything, but Cardano will not be one of the leaders of this bull run. At least at this stage, I have absolutely no signs indicating that. Sorry for the Cardano followers. Now let's look at the weekly and we see clearly what happened the previous cycle on the weekly. We went as high as over $3 and look where we are. 50% of three dollars is 150 somewhere here we are at 43 cents not great yes we had the big correction and the bear market it was a nice time to accumulate but if you want to calculate your return from the bottom to now it's not amazing for a crypto asset so when you look at this you see that Yes, Cardano tried to bounce, was stopped at 80 cents, and came back down to 45. 
So that's the story at this stage. Now let's look at here the floor was 20 cents. The top part here is 80 cents. We need to go beyond 80 cents to start talking about Cardano at this stage. Before that, it's just trading sideways. That's pretty much it. Okay. So the MA50 on the weekly is slightly going up. That's great. The ME200 also is slightly going up. That's great. But we are far, far, far away from the all time high. And the slope of the ME50 and the ME200 indicate right now that yes, we have a bullish sentiment on the weekly, but the sentiment is really low steep, meaning that it's going to progress, but at a fairly slow pace at this stage things can happen that will change my analysis if they do i will do another video to indicate that something happened and it changed but at this stage i would not touch cardano there are 10 20 30 assets that are faster quicker and have more potential than cardano at this stage even though the community is strong the coin has been here for a while i understand that but based on history, it does not look good. Could, be, could we be in a situation where Cardano will not reach its all-time high this year? The answer is yes. And if it does, I'm telling you, the next cycle could be really horrible if nothing changes for Cardano. What other asset did not reach its all-time high before? In the previous cycle, it was XRP. Look at the performance of XRP. Go back and check my latest video, the previous video about XRP. You will see its performance. If asset do not continue their tendency up from cycle to cycle to cycle, like Bitcoin, something is wrong. And you should select assets that are moving quickly, that can give you returns. And there's 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, coins out there, don't stick with very slow one, turtle assets. Select the fast ones. Select the, select the ones that have proven since the beginning of the year that they can run. Look for alpha, that's what you want in this bull run. And if you don't know what you're doing, pick Bitcoin. That's the easiest answer that I can tell you. But for now, my analysis is that yes, Cardano will go up, it may not even reach its all-time high. It's going to be a lagging asset and it's going to disappoint. That's my prediction for 2020, 2024 and 2025 for Cardano at this stage based on the charts. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my true analysis. It's not financial advice. That's what I've seen. And I have seen greater, greater charts from other crypto assets that have proven already that can, they can move very, very well, very, very fast. And those are the ones that will dominate this bull run. Hope you enjoyed this video. Watch other videos. I'll make a series on disappointing coins, especially the ones that are older, that people are hanging on for whatever reason. I want to avoid people getting disappointed. Please look into it, do your research, and analyze chart versus chart of assets, head-to-head -head analysis, and look at what the buyers are doing and what the sellers are doing. They're going to tell you all the information you need as to who has potential and who has not. Ciao.